come back from a trip to gun site in uh, Arizona. I go to gun site uh, three or four times a year. I go out there as often as I can for different training things. Um, this time we was out there with uh, Simply Rugged Holsters was sponsoring the event. Uh, Ruger furnished uh, uh, pistols. We were shooting Ruger SR 1911 commander size. They, they ran really well. Good pistols. Uh, HPR furnished ammo. Crimson Trace sent us some uh, lights and lasers for the uh, night shoot. We also had some Streamlight lights for the night shoot. And uh, uh, Militech furnished the lube for the thing. So he kept our weapons running with some good lubricant. We shot a lot of rounds uh, last week. And uh, what we're doing here is we're showing you some things that uh, that we learned at Gunsight, which uh, uh, Gunsight, every time I go out there, I, I learn something. Because I come back home, every now and then I get in bad habits when I'm testing a gun. I just want to see how to run. I worry more about that than how well I'm shooting it. And that uh, gives me some bad habits. But Gunsight, they teach you how to fight with a pistol. They don't teach you your bullseye marksmanship or anything like that. They teach you how to get hits on targets quickly and smoothly. They teach you how to come from the holster. You know, a lot of ranges you go to, they won't let you draw from the holster. They make you lay your gun on a table because uh, they're, they're scared you're going to shoot somebody. You know, but young side teach you how to come out of your holster smoothly and smooth is fast. They don't work on fast, they work on smooth. If you do smooth, you'll get fast. But we did some night shooting. Uh, we put in some long days, so we'll shoot, shoot in a day shoot at night. We shot inside the uh, uh, simulators, which is kind of a fun house where you go through and you got shoot, no shoot targets. But they, they teach you the fundamentals out there. They teach you how to work your weapon, how to fight with it. It's a good investment. Anybody that wants to uh, get some training to learn how to use your weapon when you can and can't use your weapon. You know, the classroom stuff we learn is just as important as what we learned on the range. But gun site's a good place to go do that. But if you want to check them out, go to gunsite.com and you'll learn more about what they do at Gunside. Right here at Gunside Academy this week doing some shooting and having fun. This event was sponsored by Rob Leahy here with Simply Rugged Holsters. You know, Rob's been making holsters for a long time. I send people to him just every day. I send somebody over there to buy a holster from him. And the reason I do it is because he makes a good product at a good price and good service. And that's important. You know, people don't want to buy a holster. They're going to fall apart next week. If they do, I'm going to hear about it. Rob makes good stuff and never hear any complaints on his stuff, and we're glad to be out here shooting with him. Go ahead and tell us about some of your latest leather there, Rob. Well, this is our shootest holster. It's a traditional looking holster with a lot of modern features to it. And we're kind of revisiting the past, but bringing it into the 21st century. Uh, it's a uh, good range holster and it can be a concealment holster. Uh, you can see, uh, Jeff, if you turn this way, it rides high and tight and close wouldn't be too hard to conceal that uh, and at the same time it presents again at a good angle so you can draw it out. Uh, one of the subtle features to it is this back uh, fold when you put that on it puts tension on the gun it puts tension on the whole body of the holster and it also stabilizes the gun and the holster on your belt. Uh, I like the old Brill holsters from Texas and I wanted to do something similar to that but I wanted to make it my own, so we did a uh, complete cutout, one-piece leather. Brill usually had a, a uh, secondary piece uh, over here. And, uh, we are going to offer this for 1911s at first, the Commander and the full size. And then uh, as we time goes on, we will offer it for revolvers, double actions, single actions, and maybe other autos as well. And, uh, this is, matches up well with either a one and three quarter or one and a half inch belt. We make a good laminated belt. Uh, it's made all, made, all our stuff is made out of Herman Oak leather. Uh, they're out of St. Louis. They're the oldest U.S. tannery. Uh, they use the same methods they've been using for over a hundred years. It gives you a real dense leather that, uh, it's cowhide, but it's almost as dense and as, uh, has the body of horsehide. And I really enjoy working with it. Uh, it just is so forgiving for what we're doing, and it, it molds up into a nice holster. I was really satisfied with it. When I first saw it, I thought that's going to be a great field holster. But after wearing it out here for three days and, and one night shoot we did, like you said, it hugs it in there high and tight, just a loose shirt over it. It'd be a great concealment holster. It's held up really well. Don't get floppy. You can go right back to the holster. It don't close up when you pull your gun out. It's uh, stiff enough, like you said, to really hold it, and uh, I think you've done a fine job on that holster. Well, thank you very much. And you're calling this the shooters, right? The shooters. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. I'm out here at Gunshot Academy in Arizona with Ed Heath. He's been our instructor all week. This is a 
premier training facility to teach people how to fight with a gun out here. Been here many times, but every time I come out, I always leave here a better shooter than I, I was when I left because uh, it's important to get refreshed on this stuff. I'll go home and develop bad habits. I come back out here and get the fundamentals again, and they're always good about it. And I'm going to let Ed tell you a little bit about what they do out here and the gun we've been shooting this week. Go ahead, Ed. Well, you, you hit on it, Jeff. Uh, gun sight's a fighting school. This isn't a place where you come to learn how to target shoot and that kind of thing. We teach people how to fight with the weapon system that they bring to the school. So it's all about fighting. It's about, in my opinion, it's all about applying those basic skills you talked about to a situation. Looking at the front sight, controlling the trigger, following through, no matter what's going on around you. So that's what we kind of try to do here. We train everybody from beginning shooters, housewives, to uh, police and military, special forces guys, uh, enthusiasts, everybody in between, anybody that wants to learn how to defend themselves with a firearm, we'll take care of it here. I like it, and also like it here, but different instructors out here over the years. Everybody's a good instructor. They're here to teach you. They're not here to brag on themselves. Like a lot of instructors, they just want to blow themselves up and say, you know, if you don't do it my way, you know, you're wrong. And out here at Gunside, they want you to leave here a better shooter than when you came with a better attitude. And mindset's very important. We had a class on mindset yesterday. That's every bit as important as, as pulling the trigger, is knowing when to pull the trigger, when you can, when you can't. Be alert of your surroundings. And uh, they do a fine job of teaching that at Gunside. Tell us a bit about the gun we've been shooting out here, Ed. Well, we're shooting a Ruger SR 1911 Commander. This is their stainless steel, all American made, commander sized uh, 45, 1911 style pistol. Made right here in Prescott, Arizona at the Ruger factory, uh, just down the street from where we are. And uh, pretty, pretty nice little pistol. It's pretty much got everything you need and nothing you don't. They've included things like the beaver tail grip safety, a slightly extended thumb safety, good set of Novak sights on it, which most of us think are probably the premier fighting sights. Yep. And uh, got a real sweet trigger pull. Most of them come out of the factory about four and a half, five pounds. Yeah, we've been shooting, and also on these, you know, we did the night shoot last night. I really enjoyed trying out the Crimson Trace lasers and the lights they had on them. Uh, another thing they instruct us here, uh, uh, using a flashlight last night. You know, most people that carry a gun don't think about using a flashlight, but most of your thugs apply their trade in the dark. They like to work in the dark for some reason, and a flashlight's very important to have. They taught us how to use the flashlight, when to use it, uh, the best way to use it, not get yourself hurt, shoot your hand off, that kind of thing. But it's good instruction they give out here. And we've had that and uh, Simply Rugged Holsters out here. Uh, they put this thing together. Uh, the Ruger Firearms, the Crimson Trace, Militex teaches how to lube our guns up, keep them on uh, the uh, metal conditioner on them. Uh, we just have some really good stuff out here to use this week, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.